Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello. everybody. Hello. Um, it's Tuesday. It Happy is. Tuesday. And it is your round up and answering questions kind of day, isn't it? And while you're doing that, yes. I'm going to change Rufan. Oh, good. And I'm also going to show people some of her details. So if I could just quickly do that and show people what I'm going to wear on her, yes. then I will hand the floor to you. Okay. <laughs> well, he needs help from you as well. Oh, I thought you were going to say that I'm not to talk. And no, I'm very goodness, quiet. no, no. <laughs> we've, we've got to have uh, your input. So just, just look at how big she is. She's amazing. I just love how big she is. Um, I don't know how long, but I think at least 22, 23 inches. She's just really big um, and really chunky. I just love the way she feels. She's so lovely and cuddly. Um, so let's have a look at her little feet. Quite a nice little creases. Look at the little rolls on her ankles. Lovely little creases on her ankles. She's got a really nice defined knee on this leg which is um, bent and a nice little roll just here. Straight legs, nice creased foot, um, nice rolls at the back here. Just lovely. Mm -hmm. um, Look at the wrist creases on her, on her wrists and the little rolls here at her elbows. She's just so beautiful. Bonnie Brown is just a wonderful sculptress. I love it a bit. And look at this cute little face. Look at the way her head goes in just here, just here at the temple. And not quite so much the other side, excuse me, precious. And her very straight nose. And her mouth is just, what would you say that expression? She's not quite, she's not smiling, but she's not crying, is she, Rhea? No, no, definitely not crying. It's more uh, almost like she's just made a noise. <laughs> like a face. Yeah. Caught a midway. Yeah, kind of cooing face almost. Yeah. I just love her. And she's, she's got little tiny teeth. It's almost like you can see her. She hasn't got teeth. She's not old enough, but... It feels like I can feel something in there. Her tongue is sticking up into the roof of her mouth. Oh, how cute. She's beautiful. Right, I've got this really cool outfit to put on her. She's just wearing a white onesie with blue stripes at the moment. So I've got these harem pants. I've forgotten what colour they are. I think they're cream, aren't they? Yes. So they're cream harem pants. They're just plain cream, aren't they? I can't remember. And um, they're covered in llamas. Oh! <laughs> What colour llamas? Uh, you've got their white and they're done in a black outline, but some of them for their saddle blanket is yellow. Some have got red ones on. Some have got some green. Oh, wow. And there's cactuses as well. And then we've got this amazing um, top, which is La La Llama. <laughs> um, can you describe this just because I've... Yeah, it's a creamy white top with a big, big llama on the front that's <laughs> smiling and his eyes are closed and it's got a big blanket saddle that's orange and it's got green and golden triangles all embroidered. It's just the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's just so cool, this outfit. So I'm going to get this on her. Mr. B, the yeah. floor is yours. Okay. So um, thank you all for your comments over the, the past week. They've been really great to read. It's always uh, lovely to, to wake up and uh, come in here in the morning and see uh, the comments that have come in, uh, particularly overnight. So thank you. Got a few things here, so we, I won't spend too long on, on each item. Um, one of the big hits of last week I must say was my song <laughs> that I sang that was a little bit of a hit people seem to like that thank you for that uh, people are saying um, that they hope you get better really soon well you certainly seem to have recovered now don't yeah, you yeah I'm heaps better thank You're you a lively little bear now <laughs> <laughs> um, viewers uh, to the channel love little Darlene 
uh, she went down really well oh, last yes, week. Thank goodness, bless her. And have we got any update on the sculpt? Do we know anything? Yes, uh, we think it is Chris by a brick clinger. Okay, right. Um, uh, because that did seem to stump quite a few of our uh, viewers last week. Yes, uh, we, I'm not 100% certain, but we think it is Chris by a brick clinger. Right, okay. Um, as I say, uh, lots of other great comments. People are saying that uh, they, they watch us every day, oh. which is really nice. And uh, one thing that stood out to me was uh, somebody said that um, uh, we, we all, they, they like it because we always try and uh, put positive things into the channel. There's very, very little that's, that's negative on it. Uh, and we do like to do that, don't we? We do. Yes. I mean, there have been there have been when yeah. I've had bad things happen. I never try to. If you're always, always, always positive, it's not honest. It's not realistic, is it? No. You know, um, because unfortunately, life things. happens. Yeah. Life isn't always positive. Um, but I think the trick is to try and make the best of things when things does, do go down and life does get hard and i don't i do try to do that i don't always succeed but you're very sweet to say things like that mm. to us and it it helps us to oh ouch that hurt ruthann she just bopped me oh um it does help us when we hear things like that to, it just motivates us to do better mm. it let us never ever dear father in all reverence be complacent when people say nice things to us no. it just motivates us to do to think keep trying things, to but, think of to new do. things and to do better yes uh, now after the tag video which i think was on wednesday mm -hmm. actually was. Uh, lacy was watching it with me oh. okay and she was as they would say round here, tamping mad, <laughs> she was. She says, nowhere in this nursery description is there an area for all my things. No, no slide, no TV, no cartoons. Yes, but Lacey doesn't need a nursery. She lives upstairs with us. Ah, but she wants to go into the nursery, into the, into the new... Um, new nursery that you've created in your mind there but she wants a bit of a play area it has to be a really big room so she has to have a little bit with a slide in a, i don't know whether i want lacy to have a slide slides are dangerous oh no slides are great oh, i hate slides we had a slide slides are dangerous when i was little we had a slide i don't like slides uh, right well we're, <laughs> having, we're having one we'll fight that out later we're having one she wants one so uh, oh, of well, course it's gonna happen argument over yes. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now, a uh, couple of other uh, questions. Uh, that's all I've got. Um, uh, someone wanted to uh, know about my job. Well, it brief, very briefly, um, it falls into to two strands. Uh, part of it involves writing computer software, not only for blind people, but also uh, those who have other physical disabilities, might be in a wheelchair, um, or other sensory impairments that might be hard of hearing, for instance. So we have a, a range of software packages that we sell uh, that I write. That's one aspect of it. The other part, which is getting increasingly busy at the moment, is that I need to travel to lots of different places of employment uh, around the, the country. And I need to um, uh, work with blind people who are in employment. They've got jobs in all kinds of different organizations and companies and make sure that they can use the individual programs that those individual companies or government departments use. That's a, a very quick way of a quick summary of, of what I do. Um, but as I say, that part of it is, is getting um, quite busy, but I try not to be out on the road too often because I miss uh, Lulu and all the little babies. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgotten to bring Ruth Ann's socks and shoes over, so we're going to just have to take a quick break okay. while I, I get them. Okay. Uh, and then we'll do the last one. One second. Okay, there here we are. There we are. Now she's got her shoes on. Oh. Well, can't they cute? Little white um, sort of fabric booties. They're all I could get, to be honest. And they've got little grey bears on them, but they actually do fit with this outfit. 
and um, she takes a zero to three month size um so I was really glad I got these couple of outfits. I just wanted her to have something that yes, I chose. I was asking you about that yeah. in the break, wasn't it? Yeah, I? Zero, zero to three months she is. Yeah. She just fits this size fabulously. <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> You're so beautiful. I love you so much, baby girl. Uh, you had something else I've you wanted? I've just got one more thing, yes. okay? And you can help with this, I do hope. Mm -hmm. um, because um, we had uh, one or two people asking how we met. Can't you remember how we met? Well, of course I can remember <laughs> how we met, but I was just trying to make it a little more even here. Okay. No, this is your day. You oh, tell it. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll start it off. Anyway. Okay. All right. So uh, we were working, in fact, um, uh, on an internet radio project. Yeah. In fact, I was working there first. Yes. Um, and then you came along, didn't you? Yes. So I was um, Lulu's boss. Not the main boss, I have to say, but I was Lulu's boss. What what you might call my line manager. That's right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Scary boss he was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. And uh, I was helping her um, to, to get started in this and, and so on. And uh, what we found was, um, obviously, by then, I had this little radio character. It was kind of a cartoon radio character. Uh, don't use him, really, on the radio now. Um, and uh, his name was Bert, of course, and um, he used to do little jingles and things uh, for me, and I created him back in 2009. And uh, Lulu, she had a little radio character as well she yeah. used to interact with. Yes, I, I liked Bert so much that I wanted one too, basically, so I did some shameless copying. I know, it was outrageous. Yeah, it was outrageous. I just yeah. I just copied because yes. I just thought he was so good and so cute. Oh, I was so good. I, I, lo oh, good. <laughs> I, loved, I loved him so much and I thought he was so cute. Right. So I made one and he wasn't cute. He was just obnoxious and cheeky. Mm. And he was an elf called Hinky. Yes. So Bert and Hinky got to be friends, didn't they? That's right. And uh, um, put very quickly, um, they did some work together, the two characters in the end, didn't they? Yeah. And, Which meant uh, we did work together. That's right. <laughs> and uh, couldn't keep away from her. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> so so then, that, that was it, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, then, basically, both our lives went pear-shaped spectacularly. And very tough times for us, in both personally and professionally. And we helped each other. And we got to be close friends and then we fell in love and then the rest is history <laughs> that's right that's right it's putting, a lot more romantic putting it at its simplest to know. you know yeah. <laughs> but without you being here for like half an hour yes. that's that's putting things at its simplest yes. it was a it was a long tough road if you ever hear the record god bless the broken road uh rascal flats have a version of it and that's a good version also uh sela the group sela s-e-l-a-h have a version of it and um, if you ever hear that uh, we actually had that sung at our plate at our wedding because that is our basically is very much our tune um, because that would symbolize exactly what both of us have been through to get to each other but it, when you go through tough times it makes you value things Mm. that much more doesn't it sweetheart oh, it really does. so yeah we're very lucky to have each other and we're very lucky to have all these little ones all the babies oh, yes. aren't we look at your girl look how fabulous oh, she looks now wonderful. look isn't that great so she looks a hundred percent doesn't she yes really i great. have to say yeah <laughs> top girl yeah top girl do you want to hold her a minute now yes. that you finished yes i can definitely do that yeah fling that over there there we are won't fling yeah. you over there. Yeah. She's beautiful, isn't yes, she? Yes, lovely. Really good. There she is. Oh, isn't she just gorgeous, mm. Bea? Isn't she just lovely. gorgeous? Lovely. <laughs> now, um, tomorrow, tell them oh. what's going to happen tomorrow. Something really special. Something re me. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, portray this in its fairest form, okay? Um, I came up with the idea for a tag. 
Can you believe that? Yeah, he's he's brilliant, so it's no wonder he did. You know, um, I'm fairly new to the Reborn community, but I came up with the idea for this tag. Uh, but you helped with quite a few of the questions. Yeah, I did. You? I did help with the questions. Yes. So we've got a tag tomorrow, and we really hope you'll come back and join us for that. Yes. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies, and let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. other. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.